Yo, and welcome to Shooting the Soil, the channel where we shoot the soil with a camera through the microscope. To better understand the incredible benefits microorganisms in our soil provide for our plants and us. My name is Matt, and I'm a home gardener transitioning from a mostly organic conventional practice to living soil. So I invite you to join me on this journey, and let's dive in. All right, now we're up here in the lab slash studio, AKA my bedroom. And uh, this is what we're working with. This is a Sony A7C full frame camera, DSLR, and it's hooked up to a Swift 380T microscope. And for an example, this is what we can see through it. Now this is a sample from my garden. Um, we can see one little fungal hyphae there in the middle, but a lot of clear things. Couple aggregates, but it still needs a lot of work. The funnest part is you never know what you might find in the soil. For instance, this guy is an anthropod. And here we have a rotifer. Here we have a nematode, which is more what you want to see in your soil because they thrive in an aerobic environment as opposed to an anaerobic environment, meaning more oxygen in the soil. And now let's jump outside to see what's going on in the garden. Make sure you're subscribed for future videos on my progress. Here's our lower bed. We got a bunch of peppers growing over here and cucumbers growing over here. Peppers are not doing all that well. Hopefully they'll start doing better and take off here once things uh, start warming up a little bit. It's been uh, We haven't had much warm weather and a lot of rain here in the beginning of May. But uh, cucumbers are looking nice. Can't complain there. Hopefully they'll get going. We got two tomato plants right over here. Here's our uh, artichoke. Another artichoke. Chives doing lovely. And I don't know what this native grass is. If anybody knows, definitely post in the comments because uh, I have researched it and I haven't been able to quite figure it out. All right, over here, we got some zucchini. Nice little zucchini bed. We got a fern over here, another artichoke. More perennials, the better I'm learning. And here, we just actually cloned, or took clippings, I should say, of some elderberry and planted them in with a bunch of mulch that I made myself just from uh, plant material around the property and hopefully those will take off. Here's our raised cherry tomato bed. These ones are having trouble but hopefully they'll start going pretty soon. There's it from behind. Another these huge like soft leaves. I'm not quite sure what this plant is and I would really like to know. There's uh, one of our uh, artichokes. Here's the whole bed. We got wildflower growing here to help pollination. Some kale growing up front. Here's our dill, looking really nice and healthy. Quite tasty. Made some uh, pickles, just store bought cucumbers, but then added my own dill in it, and they came out really, really good. And here is our walking uh, onions and uh, they're starting to pick up. Walking onions actually grow new onions on the top instead of uh, you know having to wait you know the multi multi-year process for seed so they're really cool onions you should check them out. Here's the strawberries fortunately the chipmunk is eating most of my strawberries. Here's a purple basil that went into flower kind of early. I don't know if I should just clip off these flowers, but thinking I might do that. Maybe it'll start growing again. But uh, yeah, What's, for some reason went into flower super early. Here's but the Swiss chards looking excellent. Both of them. And the peas are starting to flower. And here's a look at the uh, Sioux bioreactor. And uh, got a nice little, nice amount of uh, variety and organic matter in there. And uh, we'll be checking out to see what we got on the bottom there as far as compost goes in a future video. So stay tuned. 
And here we got some nature shots. We got some wild flowers growing around the property. This is uh, a project that I'm working on to turn this just grassy area into whole wildflower. So I spread a bunch of New England wildflower seed all over this area. I'll keep you posted on how that works out. And blueberry's doing good. It's got some weird curled and funny looking leaves over here. Not sure what that's about. Definitely leave a comment if you got any uh, ideas on that. Blueberries. I've never seen so many blueberries on this tree. It's a native tree and uh, blueberries never get big. The birds usually eat them, but it's still a cool tree to have around. Here's the ferns going crazy. I love having ferns around the property. It just makes it look so cool and like a jungle. There they are. Look how tall these things are. They're like almost five feet, I would say. And here's the wisteria in full bloom, the purple. Thought I'd share that with you. And uh, other than that, that's about it. So like and subscribe. We're going to be monitoring our soil with our microscope here. And uh, showing you all the progress that uh, we make in the garden using this as our main tool to go by. So, uh, yeah, catch you on the next video. Happy gardening.